Any thoughts on the news, the passing of wrestler Curtis Smith, former, I believe it was one of the Infernos, the Inferno that replaced Frankie Kane, also the Blue Yankee. Oh my God, how old was he? Uh, let me see. Easily 80. That. I did not know, I didn't know that he had passed away, but Curtis Smith was, yes, as you mentioned, a mighty Yankee and one of the Infernos in the, uh, the, the, Obviously, the Infernos with J.C. Dykes as their manager were the most mo most, most well-known uh, set of Infernos, and Mephisto, Frankie Kane was involved, as well as Curtis Smith, and who was goddamn, there was another one. Rocky Smith was his brother. Rocky was his brother. And, uh, but Curtis Smith, that, that, you know, he would have had to, I would think, now be in his 80s at least, would he not? I would think I'm not actually finding an age. Scott Teal announced okay. it on uh, Facebook. That's where I saw it. Well, if and Scott being 97 years old on his own, he's been around for everything. That's not when, what I was saying. No. When he was in school, they didn't have history. Again, we're not um, here to make fun of Scott Teal. We're here to but, any. Do you remember yes. what was the first time you saw J.C. Dykes in the Infernos? Well, see, here's the thing. It was so fucking early on. I was not smart in any way. I don't even know if that's one of the sets that was <laughs> Curtis Smith was in. But the Infernos were a mass tag team that not only J.C. Dykes was a manager most of the time, but they had other managers, but, and sometimes they just worked as themselves. And by the way, he joined in 71. Frankie Kane was already gone by that point, so 71. Okay, there you go, because that's when Frankie Kane became the great Mephisto. But a part of the hallmark of the Infernos was by the name they threw fire like the Sheik. And or sometimes the manager would throw the, you know, the cane through the fire or whatever. And also, as you'll recall, Mephisto, Frankie Kane used a built up boot, a loaded boot, right? One of the infernos at one point, I think, was it in the Florida or Georgia territories, was known as Clubfoot Inferno. I love and that they, name. One of my favorite names ever yes. for a wrestler. Because they did the deal where the, his one leg was shorter than the other was the story, which is why he medically had to have the built-up boot on one foot where the sole was obviously thicker than the other foot. It was obvious also because it was bright white. It was highlighted <laughs> so that you could see it. And he used the loaded boot. Whenever they were in trouble, he'd kick the fucking toe of the boot on the goddamn mat a couple of times to load it and everybody would see it and then you'd kick the guy and he's out and then he would tap the heel to unload it and that was so they used a variety of standard wrestling heat getting gimmicks but it was all combined in their their whole presentation they were a masked heel team but there was a loaded boot involved sometimes and sometimes they threw fire and sometimes they switched places because they were wearing identical masks and outfits. And so there was all, and they had a manager that talked a bunch of bullshit. So teams like that, and the, the mighty Yankees were uh, another team that had multiple members. At one point, Charlie Fulton and Frank Morrell were the mighty Yankees and managed by George Bunk Harris, but there were tons of them. And Actually, in Memphis in 1967, they had a team of blue Infernos because the regular Infernos had already been there. So the blue Infernos were, it was Gypsy Joe and goddamn, who was the other one? Was it, it might have been Frank Hester, I'm not sure. He was one of the dominoes later on. But they had a big sellout run in Memphis at the old Ellis Auditorium with Jackie and Roughhouse Fargo, where they sold out like, eight or ten weeks in a row in the summer of 1967. Uh, but that was a standard, old-fashioned, southern heel team type of presentation. One guy's got a boot, they throw fire, they've got masks on, they got the manager that interferes. You, you, they could get stabbed or cut in any fucking town in 15 minutes, the Infernos. They had so much heat. 